Steve, Steve just about hit everybody on this particular piece that I'm going to read that I'm going to play here. And he does so saying we have to come up with exactly what you said there, Brother Bruce. Solutions. Let's go ahead and listen to Steve Schmidt, and then we'll take it on the other side. And so what all of this is, is a coherent, organized ideology. And that ideology has a name. It's called fascism. The argument that Tucker Carlson is making and that J.D. Vance and others is making is this. That American freedom, that American culture, and that in order for it to be saved, uh, we have to deal with the problem of American democracy. And the great flaw in American democracy, according to them, is that it treats everyone equally. And because it treats everyone equally, his vote, their vote, a group vote, a group of people that look alike to them, white people who have a similar worldview, their vote, their power in their view is lessened. And so therefore, democracy becomes the opposite of freedom because freedom cannot be something where they and people who are less than them are treated equally. This philosophy got 100 million people killed, at least in the middle of the 20th century. And so everybody would have understood what this was who was alive in those moments. And when you see this in totality, the embrace of replacement theory, which is steeped in racial scientific theory, which goes back to the middle of the 19th century when a French nobleman uh, named de Gobineau introduced a ranking of whose race was the smartest and introduced into the lexicon a word that previously hadn't existed, and that word was Aryan. And over the next 70 years, the use of that word would be picked up by an obscure political party in Germany that was a far right party that called itself National Socialist. These people call themselves national conservatives. It is teeming with extremism. It is dangerous. This is a fear based ideology that is meant to make people hate each other. And therefore, it is un American. It is contrary to the American idea and ideal as we understand it, which is at long last, we stand at the edge of a moment when all people of all races and all religion and all ethnicity stand equally in this land before the law. That is what they are attacking, and that is what they hate. It's popular because fear works, because we live in a time of profound change. We know that a million people were wiped out by opioids by the Sackler family. And it was discovered as if Columbus discovered America for most of the people that live on both coasts. The fundamental dividing line in American politics is the line that separates Americans with a college degree from Americans who have a high school diploma. And the elites in the country, a lot of them speak to and talk to people with a lot of contempt. And so this message is resonant. Lastly, there's something in the national character. And, and what's, what's present in the national character is this, is this allergy around being told what to do. So when you combine the contempt, when you combine the fact that people feel unseen and unheard, they are ripe for a message around what they are angry about. So they are susceptible to the lie because the lie is able to take root when people lose faith. And so the choice is ahead, where does the country go? And what the country's gonna have to decide is if it wants to live in a world where fear and division is able to take root. So I'll just tell you what happens at the end of all of this. After you dehumanize everybody, that's when the killing starts. And we can watch that play out in Ukraine. Uh, exactly right. Now, um, I want to touch on um, I want to touch on Bruce again when he mentioned because Bruce always come in. Uh, you know, he come in. I always at the right time and says, "What's the solution?" Right. What I want to say is this: um, if you notice, uh, um, if you notice, uh, 
Steve Schmidt attacked both sides because he said he talks about the elitism of uh, folks taking some for granted. And I honestly believe I and because I've experienced this myself, I've gone to the party. Right. I'm a precinct chair and I've gone to the party and said, you know, we we know who our voters are. But that's not enough. And we serve all voters, not just quote unquote, our voters. I would like to, and I, I, I live in a very red district, very red district, but I want to engage that district. I want to go ahead and, hey, have a good one, brother, but I want to finish this, this, this sentiment that I'm talking here. And I wish you would stick around to hear what I got to say on this one, AVQ, because a lot of you don't agree with me, and you may not agree with me here either, because a lot of you think I waste my time by entertaining the Mike Seasacks and the Eric Hayes and the, Mike, uh, the Daniel Ledoes and the Lee Grants of the world. And I don't think I do. First of all, whether those names that, that are in our house right now change or not, it's not the very most important thing. It's that the, the dialogue that they brought to this room is in very, very important. Because for every one Mike Seasack in this house, there are thousands of them out there that ultimately some will listen to what we have to say. And some would even develop the rationale or see the rationale in what we're saying and what we're doing. It's not easy to have people bombard you with misinformation while we are trying to do, but I love that they are bombarding us with misinformation so that we can qualify that information and have it live in the ethos because this lives this podcast it's it's not a podcast now of course a live show but the podcast will live on forever okay now that and 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 mike said just say better very so often you initially show your understanding you understand economics but then go off on a tangent with your logical leftist argument that's fine for you to say that sir and I'm glad you're here, really. And please come back. Sometimes you should share my stuff too, you get my right-wing brothers and sisters. But so, so what I'm saying is this. We are, KPFT, the, the radio station that I do two programs a week, uh, we are building a, we're going to have a new house, new studios, hopefully in the next few months. And what my, my contribution to that particular space as progressive a place as we generally are in our talk portion. We have music portion that isn't all that progressive. My goal out there is going to be really engage the community, but not just that community that folk would expect us to engage, but everybody. And I want to echo Brother Bruce again. Solutions, right? And I'm going to give an interesting solution, first of all. And you guys are going to laugh at me, first of all. But it's true. L-O-V-E. Um, there is a person that contacted me from the right that actually that meant something to them. And I said, you know, I'm going to always use this. I mean, I'm gonna, I mean it when I say it, and I'm going to continuously mean it because people listen and when they believe you and they see that you're not like them you don't look like them you don't think like them you have a different ideology from them and you still can say you know what man just because you're a human being i genuinely love you and because of that i'm gonna continue to work with you you may change a few you may be able to change something that i may got have gotten wrong and i'm open to that but you better be open for that which will save you ultimately um so folks
we spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.